All right, you remember I said that I needed to get out of the restaurant business, right? Because if I didn't get out of the restaurant business, I was going to end up hating black people. Here is a situation where a group of black people angry about the check and the table decide that they're going to beat a team half to debt, the hostess. Darcy, the victim is only 17 years old, trying to do his job as a host here at Cheddar's. Now, he said he wants justice for the men responsible for putting him in the hospital and almost taking his life. I hope they catch you. You're going to regret what you did. It was a busy Sunday night at Cheddar's in Cordova until a group of eight came in for dinner. It was an hour-long wait. The 17-year-old host who asked we not release his name, said the only option was to separate the party. The girl in the green, she said she don't like the table, so she she would rather get a big table, so I would say it's still going to be a free minute, so they left. He says the group came back and still demanded a bigger table. Then, he says, a man in the group confronted him and punched him in the face. His whole family came towards me and started jumping me, and then after that, this when I blacked out. I don't remember nothing. Cell phone video captured moments after the fight happened. The victim's mother, Letitia Ford, says once she arrived, she found her son like this, lying on the ground while paramedics were working on him. For these people to be, you know, twice his size, you know, that, that's unacceptable. That's very unacceptable. Memphis police say the suspects left the restaurant in this large white SUV. We reached out to Cheddar's corporate office for answers. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. We didn't get a response, but Ford says she was not happy with the way the restaurant handled the situation. Uh, corporate called me and the only thing they asked was, did we need any food? I don't want any food. I want justice for my son. Now, Cheddar's communications team just got back to me with this statement, and it says, we are shocked and saddened by the senseless act of violence against our team, team member. Violence has no place in our restaurant, and we are cooperating fully with the police investigation. Now, we did reach out to Memphis Police for an update. They told us they have no suspects in custody, but the investigation continues. Anybody with any information? Well, they now have suspects in it, right? This group right here, are the people responsible for beating this child half to debt, right? Brittany Bentley, Carol Bentley, Darius Bentley, and Catelyn Bentley. I said people thought I was crazy when I told them the, the shit that we went through in a restaurant. I'm no longer in a restaurant business, but it was because of us. It was because of black people that I got out of it. Not white people. We had a group of Southern Baptists came in there, treated us better with more kindness and respect than this group of AKAs came in there who basically treated the whole staff like shit. This is what you go through when you're dealing with black people in restaurants. And to my, you know, my fellow people that are that are in the hospitality business, I say, hey, my prayers are with you. I, I did my time, you know. It was a transitional thing for me. And I thank God that I don't have to do it anymore. But there, there are friends that I have back there that are still having to interact with African-Americans. And that is the worst customer you're going to encounter in this restaurant. Yet. There's not enough of us doing the right thing to offset the niggas that come in there and embarrass a whole race of people. This is who we are until it's proven false.